welcome everyone to the Summer Love YouTube Pop with a bunch of wonderful Australian ladies. Our wonderful sponsor this month is the Scrapping Fun Kits and this is the lovely prize that they've kindly donated. To win this wonderful prize you must talk to and comment on each video in the hop. Entries will close at 2pm Australian Eastern Standard Time on Friday the 16th of February 2018. I will also be linking uh, Scrapping Fun Kits website in the description down below so please go and show our wonderful sponsors some love. So now that the housekeeping is done let's go back to my photos. And to me summer means fish. Or should I say that we tend to eat a lot of fish during summer. During January my husband tends to take some time off work and one of the things he does is he goes fishing with his dad. So that is what I will be scrapping about today. So as I was chattering on you would have seen me go through my stash and try to work out what I wanted to use and I have decided on the, the background paper that you see there and the other thing that I do use and I love is this lovely chipboard from Scrap Mats. And Scrap Mats is a 100% Australian owned company. So I think it's only fair that I use it on a Australian YouTube pop. This chipboard to me reminds me of a net. That's why you saw me cut it out and I tried to sort of put it into a shape of a net, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to trim off the branding strip here. And I will also be trimming just a smidgen of all four sides as I do know that I am going to match this paper onto some cardstock. All this chipboard that I'm showing you here I bought from Christine and she has a Facebook page where she sells all this lovely chipboard and it is called Pink Cadillac and she sells other um, card related scrapbooking products. So please um, if you're looking for anything unique and she tries to support Australian designers as much as she can so please go to her pink Cadillac Facebook page and check out what she has which is really really lovely. All I'm doing now is I'm trying to work out how I want to map this photo. I don't end up using any of those brown papers but I do love this checkered orange and beige coloured paper and it's just from my scrap bin and I just thought yes it just makes the paper pop and it's a contrast to all the other colours that are going on in the photo and in the background paper. You can see that I won't have enough of that checkered paper to map my photo in full so all I'm doing is cutting some strips of the paper and then just adhering it to the photo with some double sided tape and you really can't tell that it's not a full strip of paper. This is the cardstock that I'm going to use to match my patterned paper. It's from Kaisercraft and it's called Spiced Pumpkin. I thought it went well with the checkered paper there that's sort of orangey. It sort of tied everything in together. So now I'm going to be doing some stenciling and I'm just masking off the areas that I don't really want to use. You will probably notice that as I'm going further up the page you will see that I'm making each row of that chevron pattern going down just that little bit shorter. The stencil that I'm using is actually one that I bought from the reject shop. One thing I struggle with is layering. I like the look of it but it just does not come naturally to me. The main patterned paper that I'm using is from Kaisercraft and it's from the Island Escape collection and it is called salty oceans and the other side of that paper has got all these lovely little quotes on it that you see me cutting up now and one of them says I wouldn't want to be anywhere else and I do land up using that one as you can see. This other paper is also from the Island Escape collection from Kaisercraft and it's called Marque. I'm going to be playing now with the placement of my papers and layering and see how I just want to want all this to work. I knew that I definitely wanted to use that saying I wouldn't want to be anywhere else because it's just so true of my husband. He is just happiest when he's fishing. 
I always like to ink the edges of my paper and I'm just going to be using some distress oxides and the colour is vintage photo. I like doing it because I believe that it adds a bit of cohesiveness to all the different papers that I'm using. Okay, here it is. I'm going to commit to these layers. I'm just going to use my tape runner here and glue it all down. I will also ink the edges of my paper just like I did before using the Vintage Photo Distress Oxide. I'm just playing around with my embellishment, trying to see what works for me. So I've just sped it up for a quicker video. I got out this very old border punch of mine and I just love the wave effect that it has there. Inking my little sticker and down she goes. I'm going to be using a few different stamp sets for my embellishments and the first one is called Tia Creations and it's called Beside the Beach. Then I'm going to be using a Kaiser Craft one as well that's called Coastal Escape and quite a lot of the shells and things are going to come from it's a card making magazine that I buy and it always comes with some free stamps so most of the stamps are from that and I'm also going to be using one that's called Hilly Horizons from Eclectic Images. I'm going to be using it as a sand effect so it will look like a hilly sand or sand on the sand bank. My sandy hill I'm going to stamp it using the Distress Oxide in the colour Fossilised Amber. And then I'll be doing some heat embossing with some clear embossing powder. And I really like how this turns out. I just love that effect. I'm re-stamping my sandy hill, but not in exactly the same place. I've actually moved the paper a little bit further along and a little bit up so I can get that rolling sand effect, if that makes any sense. I heat emboss this second lot as well and I quite like how that looks and then I go in and I do it a third time all over again. That's exactly where my little sandy hill will go. So next I'm going to be stamping some seaweed and I'm using archival ink and the colour is library green. I stamped quite a few of my little seaweeds and then I went back and I stamped a whole lot more of the different seashells and fussy cut them all out. I personally don't like those white edges that you get when you fussy cut something out so I'm just going to go around with my vintage photo distress ink and just ink around all the edges of my little shells. Everything is finally now going to get glued down onto this page and I really like how it all turns out. So as you can see I'm just gluing down all my little stamped shells but I won't make you watch all of it you'll probably just see the end process when I've got them all stuck down. Voila! They're all stuck. I will now be working on my chipboards and even though I showed you quite a few at the beginning of this video I only chose three. The hook, the fish and the net embellishment thing, uh, chipboard there. So I just start off using the Hina Bear rust effect paste in the colour red rust and I just apply the red rust to the net and to the hook. I'm going to repeat exactly the same process as before but just using the Prima Fina Bear patina effect paste in the colour blue. The third paste I will add is the Prima Fina Bear rust effect paste in gold rust and you will notice that I only apply it in certain areas. I just want it more as a highlight. I'm just going to quickly add that if you're doing this, you really must dry in between coats. I am not because of the fact that here in Australia, it's 47 degrees on the day that I'm doing this video. So it is drying by itself really quickly. Now onto my fish and I added a coat of gesso, then some... Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink and now I'm going to add some Versamark uh, dots all over the fish. You know how fishies have that sort of scaly dotty look about them so that's all I'm doing here. And I just sprinkled some embossing powder but this embossing powder gives it a bit of a puffy look to it. You will see there it is once on, on this close up. It, it's not clear and well it's not smooth I should say is the word I'm looking for. And I'm just adding now some more of that uh, blue patina effect to it, just with my finger. And I will show you what that looks like in a minute. 
I just like the effect of it all. I, I quite like how that looks. Nearly at the end. And to glue everything down, I am using some Liquitex Heavy Gel Medium. I will be adding some fossilised amber, distress oxides that is, to the stenciling just to add a bit of highlight because I didn't think that the the white stenciling was doing anything. So that's all I'm doing now, just with one of those little finger dabbers and it just made everything just that little bit more pop of colour and I quite like the effect. And oh, this is nearly at the end. Oh yes, I found these stickers from EK Success going back to 2009. So I just thought I would add that little rod there. I um, quite like that little little effect of ephemera there. And then I found this hat, and that's what I'm pointing at, that it looks similar to the hat that my father-in-law was wearing. So I put that in that little corner. So please don't forget to comment on this video. There is a link in the description to the next lady's video. So once you watch her video, you comment on her video, then she will link you to the next person's video and so forth. And then you'll be in with a chance to win the prize. All right. Thank you everyone for watching. Until next time. Bye.